here is my brand new vehicle. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Denver. I'm a client advisor here at Parkview BMW in Toronto, Canada. And this video is all about my newest vehicle. This is the 2022 BMW G42 M240i. It's brand new this year and I have been waiting a long time to get this vehicle. I'm a long time BMW enthusiast. This is actually the 10th car that I purchased. Started all the way back, I got my first car, it was a 1993 320i with a body kit and Lamborghini orange paint job, which, you know, it was special for me. I did a lot of work to that vehicle. I got it before I even had my G2. I started working on it. It taught me a lot about vehicles, a ton about BMWs, and that's where my passion started. I then went into and I bought a parts car for that vehicle. It was actually a running 1994 325i coupe. I used that as a field car and parts car for the, over the next year. I then moved into a 318 coupe as well. And then that car got written off in an accident. Ended up purchasing pretty much the exact same car. Had that for a long time. Then I started up my E36 project. So anybody who is not familiar with me on my social media platforms knows that I have a 1997 328 swapped M3 engine. Basically a track car version. Uh, it's basically an E36 M3 build as I like to call it. Around that same time I did purchase a 2000. X3 had that vehicle for four years absolutely loved it fortunately I had to sell that X3 once I moved downtown Toronto and I lost my parking space then I started working at Parkview BMW and I was able to get into a 2020 uh, 230i I absolutely love the F22 platform the 2 series reminded me of what my E36s were when I had the E36s coupe uh, over the generation the 3 series have gotten bigger BMW introduced the 1 and then the 2 series to get back to that E36 size which I thought was fantastic so it's always been my favorite. And then I ended up in March, my DYB was coming to the end and I was at kind of uh, crosshairs. I could have purchased the 2021 M240i, which I really wanted to do, but I thought, okay, I'm gonna be stuck into that car for a year. So my lease programs are about a year long. I would have been stuck in that until next March. What I wanted to do was get on to the next generation because I knew that it was coming, the G42 M240i. So what I did was, instead of that, I waited and then I actually experimented. As some of you know, I bought my Turo car in March 2015, 320i. This has done me well and I was joking, when it wasn't rented out, I was driving that. And when I was renting it out, I was driving my E36 through the summertime. So literally the first day that BMW dropped the retail ordering guide for this vehicle, I had submitted my order to my managers. The only thing is, it was, it was a waiting game. We were just waiting for BMW to release allocations for our dealership. So what ended up happening is I ordered up a Thunder Knight purple one that I was ready to be waiting to get. And then it turned out that customer allocations, as more information came along, we found out that customer allocations weren't going to be released until after the launch edition Hey Specs. For the first three months production, BMW is building all of these Hey Specs or launch editions to send to dealerships and that customer allocations were going to start after that. Due to also having very limited allocations on the M240, my manager told me that all customer orders have to go through before employee orders do go through. I just had a customer who got an allocation for January for her beautiful Thunder Knight Metallic uh, M240i. So I was literally looking at probably an April to a May production, maybe if I'm lucky, and a summertime delivery if I wanted to wait to the purple. I didn't want to wait that long. I wanted to get into it now. So I chose a white on red because we happen to get four white on red uh, hair spec allocations. And I absolutely love this car. White has really grown on me. This car represents a lot of firsts for me purchasing a vehicle. It's the first white vehicle that I've ever had. It's the first vehicle with a red interior that I've ever had. It's the most powerful vehicle that I've ever had. So the B58 engine is putting out 382 horsepower, 369 foot pounds of torque. I mean, my E36 M3 is an S52 motor with, it came stock with about 250. You know, that car's probably about 250, 270 at the wheels that I would think, between all the mods that I did to it. So this is certainly the fastest vehicle that I've ever had. And it checks a lot of boxes for me, that's for sure. So it was definitely worth the wait from July. It definitely wasn't worth the wait of waiting all the way for the purple one to come in. I'm super excited for the white one. So what I'm gonna do with this video is just kind of give you guys a my thoughts on the F240, what I love about it, everything like that, and what my favorite parts have been. I've been driving it for about a day so far and I already burned through like a quarter tank of gas. <laughs> I've already put on like 200 kilometers on the car already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop behind the camera and give you guys a little in-depth look of what my opinions are on the car, what my favorite things have been about it, driving it for about 24 hours so far. So, all right, before I hop behind the camera, please make sure you absolutely smash that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel for more future BMW content. Now, let's get into everything I love about this car. 
All right, guys, so trust me when I tell you I am not over-exaggerating when I tell you I love this car. Let's get into what I love about it. The first thing that you can notice is the power dome on the hood. Like, look at how aggressive and beefy that is for the vehicle. The last power dome we saw was on the last generation M3s and M4s, and they really weren't that big. They were kind of small in the center. Like this thing is actually massive. Even the G80 M3 and M4 didn't even get a power dome, and this thing does, which I find is so unique and so sick. It matches the 240 so well. The next thing, I actually like the grill. I really like this grill. A lot of people are hating on the looks of this vehicle and I literally love everything about this vehicle. I, I just love it. This grill I like is unique to the two series. So it's a wider grill connected in the center. But the thing that I like is these turbine style kidney grill flaps. So when they're closed, it looks like kind of like a kidney grill with the design patterns in it. But when they open up because they need to get extra cooling, they then look like the traditional BMW grills. I'll plug in an image of what that looks like with the pre-production model that I got heated up. And you can see it looks really good while it's coming up on the platform. The next thing I absolutely love is the gold that is built into the adaptive LED headlights. Not only is there gold, but it's a single light projector. You don't have the twin halos on either side that you would normally see with the BMWs. It's not the normal traditional BMW. It's brought back from the 2002 BMW in the older 3 Series, which I, I like. It's unique. Every other BMW headlights look the same. This is the only one that looks different. You have the other expressions in the front bumper. I would say it is a little, uh, once you start going lower past the grill, it's a little less depth to the bumper than it used to be. BMW is doing a lot of just like flatness going across, but I do like it. More vents at the bottom and the trianglers on the side. I don't know, I don't overly love the triangles. When this car has the cerium gray in there, I think it looks a lot better. And then I love the front lip rubber guard that gives it kind of like a splitter splitter look at the the bottom it's much better than nothing being there at all one thing i like on the side the wheels have extra depth to them more concave the last two series the wheels they were just flat they were just flush there wasn't really much to it now we have more offset we have more concave to the wheels they're actually brought over from the three and the four they share the same wheels instead of them being one offs for the two series I love the black side skirt that lows along the bottom. Like it, everybody, you know, you always want an aftermarket side skirt. It already breaks it up and adds that right there. It matches with the high gloss black window surround. I love the new door handles. These kind of bring me back to my E36 vibes. You got to put your hand in underneath. I like that. It's different from every other BMW. M mirror caps on an M240. Yeah, everybody who gets an M240, other one of the mods they do after they buy the car is they put the M mirror caps on it. So I like the fact that it comes with the M mirror caps from the factory. There is still lots to differentiate this car from the new M2 that's coming. One thing I love, how aggressive the body is. Like, look at the fender flares on either side. The front fender flare, like, look, comes over like three inches. The last two series, it literally just went, just dropped off. And this one, very nice, comes over. A couple wheel spacers, this car would be mint. The rear, oh my gosh, the whole thing is boxy. Literally reminds me kind of like a G R34 GTR, how boxy it is at the back. It's like a square box, you know, like a roundedness. I, I love the look of this. Just the fender arches are just so beautiful. Now everybody was talking about the tail lights. They don't really like the tail lights. I mean, they don't bother me one bit. Do I think they're the, the sexiest thing I've ever seen? Uh, I'll be honest, no. I don't think it's the sexiest thing, but it doesn't bother me. Like, I don't have an issue with the lights. Take a look. Let me turn the lights on. I'm just, oh, the interior is beautiful. Carried over from the three and the four. You just can't go wrong. We'll come back to that in a little bit. So, like, when you have them on, like, I was following Teresa home the other night while she was driving the vehicle and they actually looked really good on the highway. And then when you apply your braking pressure, the whole bottom area around here lights up. I love the fact that it comes with this rear lip spoiler underneath and the rear diffuser. I'm not overly in love with the tailpipes. I preferred solid tailpipes, round ones at the back. So you could kind of upgrade with the carbon fiber tipped exhaust system. But I mean, it still sounds pretty good. 
I do like the aggressiveness in the bumper right here coming into the reflector. And I love the fact that compared to the last generation M240, you have a limited slip differential in the rear end. When I started with my E36, they all had limited slip differentials. And then after 1996, BMW stopped putting limited slips in cars that were not full M cars. So it's nice to see that an M light is getting a limited slip differential just on par with the M340 and the M440. So it's kind of like, hey, if there's a little M in front of the badging number, it deserves to have a limited slip differential in it. Just my opinion, at least. So that's everything I love about the exterior of this vehicle. Just literally the look is so menacing. The, the front is so unique to this car. You can't mistake it for any BMW. The headlights are menacing. The active grille is menacing. The fender flares on this car are just menacing. I just love everything. Now, going on to the inside, I picked the white with the red interior. We had four of them incoming in this Haya spec, so that's what I was able to grab. And this was the one that came in on the first batch of four cars. I've never had a car with white interior, white exterior. I've never had a car with red interior. So that is freaking fascinating to me. This red, the core red is so, so nice. It's a dark red. So it's not like it's a bright red in your face. When you're driving at nighttime, you don't even know it's red anymore. It's a nice dark red. You have the M door sills, you have the M aluminum pedals, and you even get a little M tricolor stitching on the floor mat. I don't believe the M340 or the M440 has those. I'd have to double check though. I love how you get your unique door panel here. We have a little bit of design built in to kind of break up any plainness. This one did get the optional Harman Kardon sound system. So that was a first for me as well. I've never <laughs> cared too much about my music. So that's very nice. The M Sport steering wheel on the inside. The steering wheel is so thick and nice to drive with. The only thing I wish they did is they gave you the same M3 or one that you get in the X3 M40i. That comes with the tri-color stitching and it has uh, kind of like aluminum here instead of plastic and it cuts out in the center. That would have been very nice. The ambient door lighting or the ambient lighting on the door is very cool. I was a little disappointed that the ambient lighting wasn't more along the dash areas here but I do like the uniqueness on the door pattern. Originally with my spec, I was gonna go with the M highlighters with my factory order, but with the Haya spec, you know, I'd rather get this instead of waiting. Full digital gauge cluster and head up display is part of this Haya spec. So that's so cool. I haven't experienced head up display before besides like, you know, short drives. And even after the last 24 hours, like I absolutely love the head up display already. And I already know that's gonna be like, I'm not gonna be able to get another car without that head up display on it. The live copper professional is just, you know, it's beautiful. It does what it's supposed to do. It just, you have to get that when you get a BMW. I love the fact that my driver profile pops up, syncs with my key. The car automatically locks when I walk away, automatically unlocks when I come towards it. Coming down the cup holder. I will say I find the wireless charging tray does not charge my phone very much and it just heats up my phone. But it's cool the fact that it's even on this car when on a 3 Series, a 4 Series, X3s, X4s, X5s, it's all restricted. You can't even get them at the factory. So the fact that this car has it is pretty damn cool. But I mean everything else, I'm already familiar with it from the 3 Series and the 4 Series. It's nothing new. But it's just such an upgrade. I've been driving my E36 and I've been driving a 2015 320. So this is a massive upgrade for me. Sunroof is larger. Also a full power shade is nice as well. Looks like I got universal remote control even though I don't need it. Nice update they did with this two series doors is the fact that it automatically moves forward. There's no longer a little button to press from the last gen. Once you move it up, it just moves forward. You have lumbar support and the side bolstering support as well. In the back, own climate control to USB-C ports. Still a four passenger, which I think this small of a coupe shouldn't really have a third seat belt. Load through system, all the seats will come down. I love the way the Harman Kardon system looks in the rear window here. I love how this Harman Kardon looks. Like when you're looking in, it's like, yep, you know it's got the good uh, sound system in that. Trunk space, you know, it's what you'd expect from a two series. Just enough for all your, your stuff. You know, it's not gonna be huge. It is a small little coupe. That's the whole point of this. 
yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's my opinion. This is my brand new car. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have a couple things coming up. Little items, little spicy items that are going to be going here. I'll give you guys a little hint, but I uh, won't give away too much in that. But I had a couple things in the work to spice up the white, make it not so white, make it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to make this car kind of a one of one. So if you see this car on social media, or you see this car around, you'll instantly know that it's my car. So next time you guys see my check-in video, she'll be getting a little spicy. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys appreciate this content. I hope you guys enjoy my thoughts on the brand new M240i and everything that I loved about it. If you are in Toronto Marketplace and you're interested in getting into one of these vehicles, we do have a few of their highest specs available. So just send me an email, which is down below, if you're interested in all of those details. I have made a video of my girlfriend driving this vehicle as well. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see her reaction to the vehicle. Uh, definitely the, most, the fastest car that she's ever been in and she's definitely enjoying it so far. Thank you guys so much. Smash the like button, do all that good stuff. Drop a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time.